Greetings, entities and guardian. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Pick Run Oven Break. I was going on a binge of recording a bunch of Pick Run Oven Break videos, which I'm still kind of doing that right now. And this video is honestly an all of a sudden one because I was doing cookie trials, and after I finished another video of those, I got a time attack one for Rogue Four cookies. So since I have to do a time attack, well, I have to do a video on Rogue Four cookies soon enough. I may as well do it now because time attack only lasts for so long, and by so long I only mean an hour. I may as well just focus on that now because I should be on route to getting diamond rank for Rogue Fork Cookie, and also, I don't even have Rogue Fork Cookie's magic handy enhanced, like fully enhanced, so I need to focus on that. But before I start, I do want to mention, if you don't know what time attack is, or like the time trial things are, then basically this kind of explains it. Time attack event open now. These apparently, I don't know exactly what triggers them. But maybe it's after like a certain amount of time or after how many times you play cookie trials. What will happen is that a random trial will be pick and chosen depending on a trial that you can get diamond rank on. Which if you have the capabilities of getting it on depending on like this like the ranking of like the top people who've gotten diamond rank on it. It'll probably tell you like oh you can get it within an hour and you'll get an extra 1000 crystal reward. Which is very good because if you don't have diamond rank on it already. If you get diamond rank the normal reward for that nowadays is 1500 crystals so... That, combined with a special reward night right now, would be 2,500 crystals, which is pretty good, legitimately. So we have to reach it within the time limit, which I'm pretty sure that we'll do, but we won't look at any costumes, we'll just try and go with bear, rogue fort, bear cheese, I don't know. But before we start running, we need to find out who even this mysterious rogue fort cookie is. By the way, fun fact, rogue fort is based off the rogue fort cheese, just spelled differently, but obviously rogue, because, you know, rogue is like, you know, stealth and the dark stuff like that. You know, kind of like a spy, but like just a sneaky assassin. Not assassin, but just thief, you know. But anyway, if you're wondering who Rogue Fork Cookie is, then here's the story. Urkin, is that Hark Harkin? Might be Urkin, I don't know. Harkin to me, dear turkeys, upon Starlight's glows, I will make my appearance to embrace the brightest of jewels. Once Phantom Blue's calling card arrives, the jewel in question is already gone, as good as gone. The once great blue cheese manor, deep in taste, and a long history tracing back to it, the aging caves of old, fell from grace. From its remnants appeared one who always manages to captivate everyone's attention. Rogue Fork Cookie. Armed with an air of refinement and elegance, this mysterious cookie's fatal charm can steal hearts with just a mere glimpse. Some cookies find themselves looking forward to receiving the calling card. A meticulous planner and unpredictable trickster. Rogue Fork Cookie is able to appear and disappear with a, without, no, within a blink of an eye. A certain detective is always on the heels of this enigmatic figure, but even then, this charmer leaves behind clues, adding a flair of grandiose suspense. And if you're wondering, in reference to that story, that detective happens to be Walnut Cookie. It's pretty obvious. I know it could be Almond, but this skill description story thing, this, this story was written before Almond Cookie was released, but it's basically the same thing. Who cares? But according to Rogue Fork Cookie's skill, infiltrates a museum at certain intervals. After procuring the entire collection of jewel or jewel jellies, searchlights will light up to find the intruder. Avoid the searchlights and earn a significant amount of vanish points. Once the searchlights fade, or once the searchlights fade, police cookies will be in pursuit as Rogue Fork Cookie glides to safety. Level up for more vanish points. I know it just says vanish points, but it's interesting because that uh, skill has three phases to it, which I think is pretty interesting. Now, of course, we gotta talk about that sweet little pet, Lord Crum Lord Crumbles the Third. I wonder if they're associated with King Custer the Third. I don't know, probably not. But according to the story of this thing, this little critter, being an enthusiast for beautiful jewels, it was fate that brought Rogue Fork Cookie to, atop, uh, to adopt the cat with the brightest, glistening eyes. Sometimes crumbly cheese powder causes a flaw in the perfect plan, but one look at those shiny eyes will just about melt everyone's heart and all is forgiven. So this club is just like, oh, they're like, they look kind of super mean. They can probably cause trouble, but since they're a cat, no one's gonna bat, an, uh, no one's gonna bat an eye. But according to their skill, throws a crumble smoke screen that melts obstacles and transforms nearby jellies into cheese crumble jellies. The transformation will continuously spread to other jellies up to a certain range. Level up for more points for crumble smoke screen, smoke screen, smoke screen, and cheese crumble jellies. Apparently, this thing is all about that cheese crumble. Which, that sounds something that you would put, like, on top of a mac and cheese. Like, a baked mac and cheese. That sounds good right now. I can't get myself hungry. I'm trying to record. But apparently, they have an associated treasure called the Colorful Paper Plane. Which, apparently, it's associated with Pancake Cookie and also Rogue Fort. My only assumption as to why it's associated with Rogue Fort is because, I don't know, Rogue Fort likes to fly in the middle of the night or something. Or maybe it's associated with, like, a calling card. I don't know. According to the story of this thing, though, make a wish and fly it with a paper plane. May your plane fly high and far. Well, hopefully it does, especially in wind. And according to the skill of what this thing does, colored paper jellies appear at given intervals. Collect it to fold a paper plane and throw it. Paper planes collect all jellies they meet and can be thrown again after they land. If you miss a paper plane, you have to fold it again. Level up for more points, or for more points, colored paper points, and paper plane points. Okay, that's confusing. Level up for more points, colored paper points, and 
plain, paper plane points. I don't know why it said points and then colored paper points. Like, what? I don't know. It's, it's, that's a mystery. But you know what's even a bigger mystery? If it's possible that I can get diamond rank on this or not with my current loadout. Probably, but I have no clue. And this equip, there we go, use combi, because I think that would be the best suit for us. And it's actually ironic that I'm running on this trial, but only just because I'm looking outside right now. It's super early, and the sky is turning blue. Just like how the sky is kind of turning blue uh, in the background. But I'm pretty sure that just means it's in the midst of the night. That makes no correlation whatsoever. Let's go ahead and run this trial. So anyway, I don't know why he says uh, no use in hiding. Yes, get that. All of those. That's another gem. And now here comes the thievery. The evil. Up. Up. No, you ain't. You ain't gonna catch me. And then now we just fly on out of here. So that was all three phases of the trial, which I think is pretty unique because, like, it doesn't just focus on, like, oh, you have to do this one thing, or, like, it's some sort of a skill that, uh... Which, by the way, this music is bustin'. Like, I'm sorry, this music is just banging. I love it, <laughs> genuinely, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people bang it. But then again, this music, it's really fitting for someone like Rogue Fort because it's kind of, like, flashy and dramatic. Like, it tells you, like, oh, Rogue Fort is in the building, and they will make you gaze at them. Or, they will make you gaze at them. Which, I think is really unique. But anyway, back at this. Back to stealing this. And of course, the music just for the skill itself is also unique too. Because it's like, a good song for like, Hot Pursuit. Get down here, and now we are out of here. Those tiny little Honestly, I know it says like, police cookies will like, hunt down Rogue Fort. But like, I don't even think like, 10 of those clubs could take, like, try and apprehend a cookie. Like, I'm pretty sure like, normal cookies, yeah, sh sure they would. But those are like... A third of Rogue Fort's size. Like, I'm sorry? Is that even, like... I feel just bad just trying to run from them, because I feel like I just want them to capture me just for pity. I swear, it's so weird. But anyway, this is also the bonus time for Rogue Fort, which I think is really cool, because you can see, like, you know, the magnifying glasses, exclamation points. You're tracking down footprints. You also saw letters earlier, as in reference to, like, the calling card. Little shapes of diamonds. And you even see Rogue Fort shaped in the jelly up there. Very unique. This is like a trial that you can tell that they put a lot of love into. And I really do respect that because, you know, it makes sense. Because Rogue Fort is probably one of the most beloved cookies, you know, in Cookie Run nowadays. Which I can completely understand that. Alright, I want you to know I got hit right there because my eyes started feeling heavy. I am legitimately getting tired. I should not be recording videos this late. No, no I can record this videos this late. But, like, I should not be recording them when I'm tired because they mess me up badly. <laughs> at, least I'm, at least this is not my quote-unquote optimal run. My optimal run is, like, if I run with max magic damage. Should I get those, or should I? I think I should focus on just... Oh, I will take that potion, though. Uh, my optimal run is getting the max magic candy. But, yeah. If, hopefully, if I don't close my eyes accidentally again during this run. It's like the equivalent of, like, driving a car, like, while your eyes are closed. You, you just don't do it. <laughs> I don't think that makes any sense in this situation whatsoever, but I hope my point still stands. Because as long as words are coming out of my mouth, then guess, guess, guess what? They're, they're, they're here to stay. And what's also here to stay is the amount of stuttering that I do in my brother's voice. Can I press that button? No, I couldn't. That's bad. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. I thought I could climb on those buildings. Luckily, we're not going to get arrested here. Get the club out of here. I'm off to Clubsville. We have to cut up. Shoot. I got to get back up. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, back here. We did get revived with our egg, but I'm not sure if we'll even have enough. Okay, I should have double jumped there. It's all about trial and error, I swear. It's about trial and error. <laughs> Oh, I'm really messing up hard here, I swear. Okay, I'm about to fall down. No! And I got a last blast, at least. I didn't even make it into Ruby. Oh, there was a potion right there. Oh. I know I can do so much better, but I need to, like... I need to have a good practice on this. I need to make sure that my pumping eyes are open. Gotta, like, glue them open. Get some toothpicks and, like, make them hold up or something. But of course this is not the end, because I still have to max out the magic candy, so we still have a chance. Alright, so how much of this do I need? Uh, so... I, I guess I'll just buy it normally, because I only need to buy it, like, two times. There we go. Take a solid, solid amount of magic powder, but not too much, as far as I know, because... You know, usually I'm spending, like, 40 of that stuff just to fully enhance it. But this time I think I only need, like, I don't know, maybe 15? Well, come on, special... Bless it. Give it the good. There we go. I know it doesn't affect the trials, but it's going to be good for custom runs and stuff. Yellow bear jelly points? Yeah, pleb it, why not? And according to the magic candy, still, still, the skill now that I can fully read it says, Jewel jellies will glisten more radiantly. The stronger the enchanted power, the more points for jewel jellies. So basically, they just shine brighter. And they give better points for it. Anyway, let's do this again. Let's see that with the help of my max magic candy, and also that I have hopefully a better understanding of the trial without like messing up all over the place can help me in this situation of being the master thief that is the Phantom Bleu. 
which I don't know what that means, you know. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, Phantom Blue is probably, first of all, Phantom Blue, because, you know, the term blue cheese, but also it's that one term, you know, usually used in, like, I don't know, novels. It's, it's, it's a general term, Sacre Bleu, which I'm, I don't know exactly what that means. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it originates from French, France, both, either. But, like, I'm pretty sure it means, like, the, the, dis what, what does it mean, like, impossible or something? I don't know, mu I've never taken a French class in my life. I've only taken Spanish, and even that's a bit fuzzy to me. Literally, the most of my Spanish knowledge goes, it just, saying the words, La Biblioteca Estas Azul. If any of you know what that means, then I'm proud of you. Because you basically uh, le learn simple Spanish. Even, like, if I were to try and remember Spanish, it's, it's Spanish. Spanish, it would be hard to remember it all, because there was so much... It was, it was, it wasn't that it was difficult, but like, dear lord, it was hard trying to speak in the language that like I didn't primarily learn, which it makes me kind of feel like, you know, not, what, pity? No. It makes me feel like, in fact, no, I can go a different route with this. It makes me feel happy for like, oh, I should have gotten the big potion right there. I wish I did, because that's going to make me get significantly less jellies. But like, it makes me feel like proud for like people who like aren't native speakers, but they're trying their hardest, because they're trying to learn, and I'm very proud of that. They're trying their hardest to like learn a different language trying to fit in, which I'm very happy for. But, hey, it's whatever. Anyway, just traveling here, just gonna turn your cars into flowers because, you know, I guess that's just a normal thing here. Oh, I'm very scared trying to get those Plumbing Rainbow Virgin. I'm just gonna skip that last one, because I think that was... Honestly, I'm pretty sure the last time I actually got hit right there, as far as, as, far as I remember. I just... I didn't hit a spotlight. Okay, I didn't, because uh, if I did, I'm pretty sure it would have been more glowy. I just, you know, got scared because I heard, like, a, an alarm sound. Alright, back to this. Unfortunately, I will not get that gold bag, which sucks. But, whatever. But at least, I, at least all those turned into flowers, which I automatically collected. What are those, like, bird police? Because it, I can't... What, what, what's it trying to represent? What the club? Like, freedom? What the heck hit me right there? Come on! Literally, I don't even think anything hit me right there. That's stupid. I swear, if that's the I swear, if that's the one thing that causes me to, like have to restart this run, I'm actually gonna be upset, because I- okay, I know it hit me, it was the plumbing part in the roof, but like, you can't count that, come on! I- I- okay, I somehow jumped over that. But like, see, that's still ridiculous. Oh, I'm just- oh, now I'm like actually upset about that. Because, oh, now I'm gonna mess up on all those plumbing points. Oh, that one thing right there is gonna be my downfall. Even if I didn't get hit, like, if I didn't get hit, I feel like- because there's a potion ahead, but I'm pretty sure it's still not going to be enough. I don't think at least. It depends on how long this plumbing thing goes. Uh, droop it all the way down. There, you know, yeah, there's a potion. Like, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, there is. Oh, my gosh. It was that one little thing that I got hit by. Now I got to do that whole run all over again. It wasn't even the thing that, like, I tried to get hit by because I was reaching something. It was something that I just couldn't see. And not because I was tired, but because I, just, I thought it was something in the background. This time I actually have the energy, so this time I can actually make it, hopefully. If I don't make it in this run, I have no idea what I'm going to do. And why the club is this so fast-paced? I know you're running from the cops, but I'm pretty sure you have everything in your hand at this point, Rogue I'm pretty sure it's easy to get away from stuff that you already know that you're going to get away from. Like, at this point, just take your shortest shortcuts, like, whatever thing that you know. Just get the club out of here <laughs> at this point. Go over, go over here and get your potion. There we go. I even got that magnet to help me with it. Hopefully this should be enough energy now. My skull is going to activate, so it should be more than enough. I didn't get hit this time, so it better be worth it. If it's not, I'm even going to steal speed, speed that ingredient bag. Thank you. There we go. There's diamond rank. I thought I just got a speed up thing right there. I almost got terrified that I was going to run into those spotlights. I know I got diamond rank nonetheless, but still. Oh, get those. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. I still got a last blast just to get as many things as I can, which is only equivalent to one rainbow bear jelly, which sucks. Oh, it doesn't matter, because I still end up getting Diamond Ring anyway. And guess what? That also means that the time trial thing is now complete too. So when you complete that, look at that. Boom. Shows you that thing, and you get 1,000 crystals for your efforts. Fantastic. And also, Baker's Saint Irregulars. Reach Diamond Rank in the corresponding trial region. I'm pretty sure that's uh, Almond Cookie, Wana Cookie, and Rogue Fort. That's my only assumption, which I can also get that. And I can also get all this loot. Which I think I did a video on Rogue Fort Cookie before, but didn't get Diamond Rank, so it's a good thing that I did it now. So I had to do it at some point. But there we go. More Trial Star Jellies for our own purpose of trying to get better cookies for free. But also, if I go back, I guess it shows that I got Diamond Rank by the Overworld. Yeah, okay. For apparently, it was Rogue... No, it was Walnut Rogue Fort, Pudding, and Chestnut. 
uh, okay, I don't know why it was those specifically, but whatever the case is, at least we have that uh, clothing trial done, especially through the time trial event. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share this video with your friends if you enjoy my kick around content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I, do, whatever I do in the future. I also have merch if you want to check it out, but I'm not forcing you to buy anything at all. I also have a Discord down in the description if you want to check it out, it's called the Hype Beast Hub, it's a fun time down there, and we're trying to explain each and every single day. And last but certainly not least, there's another link down in the description that leads to a Twitter post where if I get 10,000 likes, I can get the kick around YouTube stuff for absolutely free. But above all else, I will see you in today's Guardians in the next video. Kill the hype knees.